What's up, guys? Are we muted? I have no idea what happened. Wait, I think I'm in the wrong game. Oh, dang. We should probably get to the right one. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> well yeah you guys don't sound like jackie and susan i'm out because i'm not jackie or susan <laughs> yep that's definitely this is wrong yep I, it's the wrong game I'm both of them i'm not at once i have absorbed their efforts we return back in Waterdeep. The party arriving at around like three ish. Oh, our DM so fun. I move it along. No fun. You guys complain that you guys aren't doing anything. <laughs> no. All right, we get back in Waterdeep. You guys back in Waterdeep. Uh, slightly discussed any arrangements for at least a couple of you. Uh, anything in particular anybody's wanting to do? We're gonna go. I uh, I'm gonna go find uh, potential arrangements via boat if we don't end up teleporting. I'm gonna start working on that. Okay. I'm gonna finish my tattoo. So, are you just wanting to go down the coast and then to Daggerford? Are you wanting to like go up the river? Um, I would say. I'm looking for a crew that can go. Look, so we need to go to the mystery. We need to get down to Daggerford. Well, yeah, I'm saying our end goal, right, is the mystery forest. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It would be closer if you have the map open and you see how the mystery forest kind of curves. Uh, yep. It's right next to the second bit of the M. Okay, so like it's on the western part of it. Yeah, it's more western. So could we could we land just north of that then? Because that would be closer. What kind of do do we knew what know what kind of terrain is it between the river and the actual forest? Uh, just light forest. It's well, I mean, it's it's not very detailed map. It's more plains and light forest, light woods. Okay, so it's not, like, treacherous terrain. It's just kind of there. No. But you would be asking them to go up river. Well, I mean, we'd be asking them to go up river... You'd be asking them to go up river to get to Daggerford. Yeah. But that's a lot more up river. Yeah. Does that increase the cost? And, like, I'm assuming it increases the time, right? Which increases the cost. And by default, it will increase cost because... You were right. probably paying them based on time. Or they will request payment based off time. Um, I mean, I think it would be worth it, because it's probably faster to go by boat even upriver than it is to just walk. Uh, right? Like, that's, I'm assuming so. Is that correct? Would I know better? Is, uh, is there a town of Loudwater on the map you're looking at? I do not see Loudwater. No. Oh, that's way that's way up river. I see that's I thought we were going that far up river. No, that's no, where the no, Great no, Peak no. Mountains okay. are. So well that's not where we're heading first though. We have to hit the misty forest first. Yes. Okay. I thought you were talking about after the misty forest. No, well, I'm I am trying to figure out first going to the misty forest figure out the pricing and the contacts that I had to make, and then see if we could go up to basically Lork. Okay. Okay, yeah, Lork. Okay, I was thinking it was up there. Okay. Because the place where I was told estimating is on the southern part of those mountains. Okay. Which is, you'd have to go basically to either Loudwater or Lork or somewhere in between, and then go around the mountain to the other side. Oh, like heading towards that marsh of... Yeah. To Limber. Okay. But to get that far up, it will probably add a day because you'd have to be really right. going. Uh, so it would total out to get to there probably about three days. Three days or minutes. 30 or three? Three. 
okay. favorable wins. Three favorable wins days. Uh, On not favorable wins days, probably what, like five, six? Five, five six. Yeah. Okay. Well, I. How much would that cost to to like rent a crew for? Out of Waterdeep, right? Yeah, out of Waterdeep, yeah. go to minimum Daggerford. I would like to go close to the Misty Rainforest or Misty Makes Forest. As close to... Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go to the Misty Rain. Or the... <laughs> there it is again. That's a magic card. That's why I'm. It's the fetch land, I think. Uh, uh, to go get to... to again, going based off days. Um, it yeah, would yeah. average about three gold a day. Three gold if a day. You want a comfortable ship. If you want a very cheap basic, I, it'll cost you about eight gold. I mean, I'm I'm all about the economy class. I'm not. If you want, I mean, I can, we can afford we can afford to travel bougie if we want to. But does bougie include uh, like a beefier ship that could potentially handle danger, or is it yeah. just nicer? It would be a bigger ship designed with more crew and would be faster and it'd be more comfortable. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would rather probably take the bigger ship just unless the... I don't know how big this river is, though. I guess that's the other question, right? Like, how big of a ship... Can a galleon-sized ship or, like, a bigger ship, right, go all the way up to Lork, potentially? Uh... Or would we have to take a... Right, but that's the thing, right? The map... There is a bridge it. somewhere. Uh, so There's a galleon a... probably wouldn't fit under. Well, I oh, see two... by Loudwater, yeah. I see two parts of the river that... Parts... Uh, at Sicomber and to Loudwater. There's two... Bri There's two... Like, the dotted line between those places crosses well, the river. It's just straight up the tradeway. Yeah, that's true. Right. So we'd probably have to go on a smaller boat. Oh, yeah. The Tradeway is a bridge. Tradeway and then it looks like Loudwater has a bridge. Well, the, the Tradeway is the major one. Like, the Loudwater Bridge probably... The Loudwater Crossing might not even be a bridge. Be oh, honest. that could be a ferry, huh? Yeah. Well, that could be either a ferry or it could be just like, here's a place where we can cross the river not terribly dangerously. It's shallow here. To get to Daggerford, it'd take a day or two away from the journey. Again, depending on favorability of winds. And well, no, so how long from Daggerford to the forest is the question. Loudwater? Loudwater. Uh, from, from Daggerford, probably be a day or two. Uh, depending uh. on Who's guy? I mean, we, can, we and we could walk to the forest and then teleport potentially to to like Loudwater or something, right? No one's been to Loudwater. I mean, it makes it harder, but we it's not possible. Not necessarily it's gonna not work. Possible. Possible. At that point, we might as well just try to teleport to the Misty Forest and then walk to Loudwater. Loudwater is super far away. Oh. Yeah. I'm not Loudwater. Is way I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But then we, like, if we want to go up river, we have to go to Daggerford, get a ship, and then go up river. Or walk there if we teleport to the forest. Loudwater is where we're headed after we're done. Both. We're talking, talking about the about plan for both. After the forest. I'm talking about... Well, I'm talking... Trying we're to... Gonna go if, fight we hired a ship, in if we hired a ship, got to Daggerford, walked to the forest, if we after we dealt with the forest stuff 
if we if I would like to continue going up the river, but then that means we basically have to go back to Daggerford, hire another ship, and then go up there. Right? So if we teleport to the Misty Forest, we save boat trip on to Daggerford. Or potentially just like a cart ride or something. But the boat's going to be faster. But then afterwards, we still have to get a boat. Why do we, we not could think ask... that like Sucumber would have one? Because Sucumber's farther up at the river. Like we just that's a longer. Well, right, but but they would. But we're not trying from, to go up river. Forest. Right. Yeah, that makes sense or... actually. From from the Misty Forest, it's like. Guys. Because we're on the western part of the Misty Forest, is what we said. You know what we could try. We could hire the boat and just tell them to start sailing to Sucumber and then pick us up. We teleport to the Misty Forest, do what we need to do, and then just walk to the river and get picked up there. Yeah. Then we just wait for them. Yeah, that's or really Or we hire them after up, the fact. I think that we just... We teleport to the misty forest then go to succumber and get a boat there and then go up to loud water from there all right sounds good okay so guys i've had your night and day plan you guys are teleporting I need to go get my Warhammer. Yeah, we already accounted for that, Rando. Okay. I need to see something. I'll have to... Yeah. Go ahead and roll a... D100. Or wait, say high or low first. You got higher. Good job. Bruce does not have it, but it'll take a while. So. Um, on that Warlord's gavel, can you add the verbiage of what the fire does? I thought I did. That's too... Six. Yeah, it's the bottom bit. As a bonus action. I mean, I didn't put the command word. You can make it whatever command you, word you want. Okay. So, if you guys are teleporting, who's casting? I think I'm only on the can. Like, <laughs> right. right, guys. It's on your spell list, so you don't have to make an Arcana check, but you okay. do have to make a Charisma check. Wait, it's it's so it, because it's on her spell. It's not because she, but she doesn't know the spell. That's but she like, does not have the spell slot to do it, so she has to make a check for it. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, um, here goes nothing. Yeah, good job, Meredith. Sit there. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. It's important. I'll try. Not that it's going to change much. You could also fate point it. I'm not going to fate point that. Uh, either way, you release the magic and the script, nothing happens. Wow. That was a. Underwhelming. So much like uh, water deep. Yeah, we didn't. Well, we didn't. Let's go it. hire a boat. All right, we tried. Yeah. Off we go. I think that was a faulty scroll. Definitely wasn't my spell casting abilities. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you want to try? <laughs> Oh, 
where you can go maybe somebody cast this it's definitely not because uh yeah why don't we go ask our silver hand lady to poof us there poof have you seen a good poofing lately well let's just let's just find a let's just find a boat boat you go back to the same boat and people you were talking to uh, there's a boat that is available for hire uh, well there's a couple boats uh, how fancy of a boat do you want well sorry my internet we're, completely we're, cut we're, out we, we, Daggerford, we don't need a we, small boat yeah well and we and we don't need something flashy because that would probably draw too much unwanted attention that's, I doubt people are going to be like, ooh, look at that giant boat. I think whatever's you, fastest. You never know. Let's okay. just take whatever's fastest. Your fastest boat, sir. The fastest boat would run you uh, two gold a day. Okay. You guys, shove off. Roll a d20. I'll do that. Not me. I've been rolling too many at that. once. <sighs> okay. Uh, roll another one. Me again? Or... Anybody? No, I'll roll it. Roll it, Brando. Okay. Wait, why'd that only go to the GM? You have a set to GM. Oh. That's fine. Uh, oh, why? So oh. out. Okay. Somebody roll another. I get it, I guess. Somebody roll another. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Takes you about five days to get to Daggerford. Uh, very choppy, stormy waters. Uh, creates a lot of difficulty along the way. So, you owe the crew ten gold. Assuming Did that's... that save us any time in walking? <laughs> Man, it saved you from having to walk in this toy. Fair enough. Okay, um, I'll but pay the ten gold. You guys are now in Daggerford. Or I could pay it. Someone right. pay, let's go. She yeah. paid. Then you pay for the boat, the next boat. You'll buy me something pretty later. We're good. <laughs> I like to imagine that they both just paid and the sailors are like, okay. okay. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool, idiots. So, uh, you guys make your way into the misty forest. Uh, as you enter this uh, enormous spruce forest, it, it very much is a different feel from the sparse woods that you walk through on your way. And entering, there is a very mist. You can see where it gets its name. There's a constant rolling mist uh, across the ground. It doesn't super obscure anything, but like you can only see the outline of things. You can't see strong details. I'm getting flashbacks to the last time we saw Mist. I don't like this. It's okay, so long as we stick together. We did that last oh. time, and then and then everyone started losing their minds. And okay. It's only okay. rolling around like your knees and ankles. It doesn't go any higher. Yet. Yet. Right. Let's just resolve that, like... We do not go too far from each other. Okay, hold my hand. Yes. Joshua just wanders off. <laughs> Joshua! <laughs> You're right, I am a monster. Oh, monster. <laughs> Alright, you guys. How, do you, how, how dare you assume that I'm a monster? Uh, you guys continue. Onward, uh, who's okay? Uh, 
So because of that, you don't even need to make the check. Uh, you can maneuver your way through the forest with these, as you have a vague idea of how everything is and how it's changed. Uh, and you find your way to Altant, a wood elf settlement uh, with a few structures. Despite hearing that it's been attacked, there's not a whole lot of damage. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of elves uh, working, and there's, there's it's a two-tiered village uh, with the upper tiers uh, housing the homes and the uh, places of worship. But at the bottom is one big thing is a monument in the middle to of a dragon that's been destroyed. A, mon a monument to a dragon? Yeah, you could see that it was a dragon, but it's been destroyed. Like, the head's been broken off, the tail's broken, the wings are chipped. It it is damaged badly. Is it is, it is this older? because of is this because of age or is this because of human uh, inter hell. interaction interference? Make an investigation check. Oh not a nature check. Oh I want to make a. Uh, I'm a dwarf now. I want to see uh, do with stone history or whatever. Uh, well, I mean, looking... like, you, you think about moss and that sort of thing. That would be an indicator. But anyway, looking it over, the little bits that like are fairly, like that are still standing and undamaged, look very well kept. It, this was not an age thing. This was definitely an intentional thing. <sighs> Senseless. Why would they do this? Because maybe it was a, a not a good or a a bad. Does it? So, wait. You're saying that Iadros is a green dragon? Okay. Got it. Oh. Uh. Neat. Well, they don't know. Uh, if I remember correctly, your brother's kind of still pissed at you, right? And he kind of, like, is in charge of this place? Oh, cool. So you're not like an outcast or something like that. Oh, yeah, because you like. Yeah. So, okay. Neat. So we should maybe keep a lower profile with you? Question mark. All right. Well, do you have anyone that that is like a friendly face? Anyone that we could talk to and trust? Oh, well, I gotta figure out where's where where's the dragon, right? So probably what. Others take the lead then, so that way uh, you can still maintain some anonymity. Not necessarily. Well, then, by all means, take the way. We've got or lead the way. We've got your back. Uh, you 
make your way to kind of his office of sorts, uh, and you knock, question mark? Do you open it? You knock, and you hear somebody walk over and open it, and it's not Yevris. Uh, it is uh, the warden, basically the sheriff is the equivalent, uh, Galen, who looks at you and goes, uh, can I help you? He's in Waterdeep dealing with... No. Jeez. She said, no, she's not. Galen. Yeah. Happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, I can describe the attack to the best of my ability. What has been happening? <laughs> At all tent has been, it's been by itself. This was the only time it's been attacked. The other ones, they've been decimated to nothing. Every man, woman, child. All of them hunted down by the dragon and their cult. And there were a few survivors who managed to make it out hiding, but very few. It tends to be one or two, and they slowly make their way back here. And then we were supposed to be the safe place. We have you know, been attacked, we had the defenses. But then our pulley system end up being our biggest downfall. That's yeah, basically the elevator system. Between the... <laughs> Trying to get as many people down at once, it took too long, and they just got stuck in the cloud of poison. Lost too many people. Man, like, he, he was here the last time you were here. I mean, he was much younger. But, like, he's not if he wanted. Yeah, he, he gestured you to come in. Uh, and he, you could definitely see there are bags underneath his eyes. He is exhausted. Know the exact. Oh, I know. Gets too high in the trees too quickly. And I've sent animals to chase them down. Nothing ever comes back. Or if it does, they don't have very good information. The last one was. About two weeks ago. It's been... It's only attacked the one time, luckily. But... They, and they didn't take much. They stormed this hall. Uh, but I was out trying to save as many people as possible. And then they left. They didn't take anything. The other raids, they took whatever they could. They just seem to kill here. No, oh, they did take a few people. Yep. 
Yeah, versus wife and daughter. Bethesda. Bethesda. I don't know. Bethelda. That was her name. And uh, Adriana. I have no idea. He went off after his heirloom was stolen. Trying to either get it back or do something else with his life. He pretty much gave up trying to be a leader here. Oh, so he's not here anymore. I haven't seen him, no. If he is here, okay. he's blending in with the crowd. But now there's a lot less people to blend in with. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Do do you have any idea what direction they head off um, when they're done with their raiding parties? Deep branch of the forest is about the only guess I've got. And that's like straight east or southeast? That's... Well, I don't know that, so that's why I'm asking. It. They only attacked the one time here, so wherever their lair is, it's further in, better outside, and they really just like attacking a difficult target. Hmm. Well, okay. You, you look really tired. Is, I mean, is there anything we can do to help? I didn't hear all of what you said. I said you look really tired. Is there anything we can do to help? I mean... I don't know how he ever does this. <laughs> Granted, he's also... Hasn't had to deal with a dragon attacking here before. But there's just so much going on. So much rebuilding. So many funerals and ceremonies. It's just, it's, it's a lot. Man, unless you guys are good at building bridges, you can find out any information about these attacks. That'd be grand. Okay. Well, we can um, definitely. Not not so great at building that. bridges, so. Yeah. And usually, when that burns them. Yeah, I'm I'm more of a destruction kind of guy. We'll go ahead and look into. Like, what's your definition of strange? Insight check. He's hard to read. He's real tired. He might have seen some, but doesn't remember it. And he's like, no. Nobody that I would consider sh shifty or weird. I live in a tree. Oh. He was in water deep. He's been in water deep pretty much for the last three weeks. Nearly a month now. I tried. Um, I didn't hear back. Since my raven over there and came back and didn't have anything else, so either that one's useless as he points back to it again and goes, or he just 
didn't have the time to send anything back. Alright. And feel free to ask around the other survivors. They might be a little hesitant to talk about it, but if you're careful with your wording, you might be able to weasel some clues out of them. Go take a nap, I say as we walk away. Love to. Step out of his little office and you know, outside once more. Okay, so home sweet home. I go talk to some people. Go straight for the creepy woods. I mean, I feel like we gotta talk to some people because. Um... Going straight into the woods just says, let's head into the woods with no direction. That sounds like a bad idea. Anybody well, then let's go. Anybody in particular looking for you? Just grabbing the first person you see, you go, What happened? Josh I is going to resist the urge to do that. <laughs> I want to look around for like, um, like any little old ladies or any kids or anyone that looks like they would kind of be easier to talk to. Man, old ladies and elves. It's just like, all right, I'm a thousand. Sure. Okay, make a perception check. And an insight. Huh? Make a perception to try to find an, an insight to judge age. Perception and insight. Uh, age is hard, and else, like, there, there are obvious children that are, like, children height. Uh, we look around for old people. I don't see a whole lot of, like, wrinkly old people. You see, like, one. I'm gonna talk to them. <laughs> and you walk up, and he's just kind of leaning up against uh, a tree, holding on to, like, a walking stick. And is, like, half asleep. Or, like, Sort of asleep. Elves don't sleep. Never mind, I'm not going to wake him up from his nap. Well, he's not technically asleep. But you don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that. So I'm just going to like walk up and then as soon as I see him like sleeping, I'm going to like put my hands up and awkwardly step backwards. Okay, someone else. This guy's sleeping. Elves don't sleep. What? Uh, you're right. He probably met some elves before. Wait a second. So every We've time definitely I thought had group we were conversations asleep. about elves. Not well, sleeping. I mean, like, like. Oh yeah, like we found out that one lady are, didn't sleep. Elves are capable of sleeping, but they prefer to <laughs> meditate, right? Or they have no all? need to. Yeah. So they're still, but they're still capable. Am I the only person in this group who actually needs sleep? I need sleep. No, Kira doesn't I need, need sleep. sleep. I need sleep. I don't even know if I believe you guys anymore. Literally yeah, half the group I just needs said sleep. I need sleep. There's only two people that don't need sleep. <laughs> only two. And one is just because she's kind of dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Every mean, night for the last five months with Valkyria, three months with you, Cold. I thought we were just like all sleeping at night. Yeah, because you don't stay up and do to watch. <laughs> I do sometimes. You did like, like one time. I, I am a growing girl. I need my sleep. I thought you said you're an adult. I am. Yeah, an adult, but I'm still growing. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, those are I'm mutually. Sorry. I'm, I'm just right teasing. Here. That wasn't nice. Sorry. What's up? Do you go back to the old guy now knowing he's not a sick growth spur? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I was doing, yeah. Excuse me. Yes! Hi. Um, I was just wondering, it looks like the city's been through a lot. I was wondering if you could just 
tell me what's what's happened. Oh, huge dragon, size of ten trees came down. Ten trees! My goodness, you must be so scared. Oh, I was quite terrified. I ran here behind a tree. I am changing accents as I talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I do that all the time. Literally, I, I, an NPC of mine will have four different accents within one conversation. And I won't know which one to go back to when I start the next one. So, I'm just going to say generic old voice. Uh, and I hid behind the tree. And it came down clawed at all on the ground and then flew up and breathed his noxious gas all across the trees. Watched a whole bunch of people fall down and then the bridge collapsed from all the <laughs> 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 Oh, what a beauty! What a yeah, beauty! Sure would have nothing bad to say about the dragon. It would just be like it's. That's I'm gonna wrestle it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. I need to add Steve Irwin somewhere. Oh no! <laughs> no listen, you have to you have to have the Holy Trinity now because you have to have Steve Irwin and Mister Rogers now. Those are the. Oh, you have Bob Ross. You have mm-hmm. Steph Irwin and uh, Mr. Rogers has to come in now because you have one, and if you're adding the second one, you got to add the third. I'll add the third somewhere. It'll be fine. But there he goes. And then all of these people came and started, and I saw something jump off that dragon. Look like a person. I thought it was a person. A human, maybe. But it moves too quick. Would you say it looked like half a dragon? Nah. It looked like a human, he said. I mean, it had a hood and all, so I couldn't see underneath it. How big was it? Like, just a regular human size, or was it like a big human? It's like this tall. The silvery I... hair. <laughs> was on top of the dragon, so it would probably be pretty big. Anybody mm-hmm. thinking half dragon like meant like I am? After they attacked the city, which, which way did they go? Flew up! And went that way and just points into the woods. Oh. Nice. And that was... Then that was... It just fell silent after that? It was just quick and then they got out? And a few more screams. It wasn't silent at all. But after the calm, everybody figuring everything out, it was, and crying was over, then it was silent. Hmm. It was very quick, and then they just left. They didn't take anything. Still got my stick here. Okay, that's Obviously. an important stick. Can't go without your stick. stick. Yeah. I hold, I hold out my 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 staff. <laughs> Gotta have a good stick. Oh man, I feel like I haven't seen that since like we left I mean, Grey Nest. I haven't smacked anybody with it. Yeah. But I still use it. Kind of forget you're holding it sometimes. It's, it's nice to walk with it, you know. I usually just drop it so I can beat people to death with it with my fists. And much much more effective. Sit here from me. Mm-hmm. Can you guys keep a secret. Yeah, of course. I don't think you should. Yes, we can keep a secret. The whole warden up there. He likes to sneak you into the woods at night. Not sure what he's doing. Does he leave through like a certain gate or is it always different? I just, just he walks through town. And warden goes out into the woods a whole lot, but he's doing it real late. It's a little weird. When did that start? A uh, few days after the attack. I mean, like I said, he, he always went out into the woods, but the mm-hmm. late night ones. That's after. new. Yeah, that's new. Well, 
Oh, you're really observant. Thank you. Real observant. It's my one good trait. My eyes are still good. Can't hear a thing, though. Well, that's nice. <laughs> It was nice to meet you. What? Thumbs up. <laughs> well, that, that old coot actually had some information. Too bad I missed all of it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dragon came, attacked a lot of people, <laughs> then left. And uh, Singh hopped off. Hmm. Big there thing. Was, Human yeah, thing. There was a, a lot of screaming. And then there is less screaming. And then the warden sometimes goes out into the woods at night, which is new that he goes out to the woods at night. Like really late at night. I wonder. Now, wait. Is the warden the same as. The guy we just. So... Yeah, Gallon. Oh, okay. Oh, huh? so the warden regularly is going out in the woods in the middle of the night? Yeah. I mean, that's something that's, that's brand new, so maybe we should kind of camp out and watch him tonight? Yes, I think so. He sounds untrustworthy to me. Now, is it all elves here? Like, in this population? Uh... Looking around, pretty much. I mean, there are a couple half elves scattered throughout, but that's about it. Mm. It's pretty solely elven here. All right. Mm. Okay. We can go talk to some more people if you want. Try and get more information. But I don't know what else you guys want to do with today. Um, trekking through the forest. You'd be the only one who'd be able to know how to keep track of time in the forest. Uh, in this forest in particular, not just any forest. Uh, it'd be roughly probably about 4 o'clock-ish. 5 o'clock. What do you guys want to do? Probably just... So it's the uh, evening of the day that we first until... started heading to the forest? Uh, or afternoon of the day. Oh no, it's not. It took us five days to get there. Yes. Took five days to get oh. to Daggerford, and then another full day, and then like half a day. Full day to get to the forest, a half day trekking through it. Okay, so we're halfway through the seventh day. Yes. Wow. Okay. Almost missed all that. Well, Kulth, this is your home. What do you want to do? I came up with a good plan for once, guys. Very proud of you. High yeah. fives all around. <laughs> I do not high five. Just kidding. I totally do. Get pumped. I high five. Go. More like that, less like disguising yourself as a dwarf. Oh, see, here's the thing I was thinking, though. Because, like, everyone looks elvish here, and I definitely don't. And so I was thinking maybe I could look like that old man tonight. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, but nobody ever notices the like. Old I mean, an old elf yeah. seems to be. Yeah, huh, well, I don't know very many elves, so I guess just a middle-aged elf. Have you seen Have you seen another old elf since we met that one guy? I mean, there's that guy in the council with the really like white hair. There is like, but he's um, not like old. Is he? I don't know, like... 12. I thought you were a human until now, so I was gonna say, like, 20. Didn't what? you say... No, wait, you didn't say. 
I don't know. You look like the rest of us. Young adult. Holy cow, you're almost dead! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I mean, technically, like, if we go on... I'm gonna go back and ask the old man. Hey, excuse me, what you- just curious. Uh, what's coming of age for an elf? Uh, depends. When is when is someone like an adult here? We judge by life experience. So, so what would you say level eleven is? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely an adult, at the very least. Okay, and and I hope this isn't too rude. How old are you? Uh, it's just uh, thanks for a second. Goes seven hundred and forty. I'm just oh. gonna walk back with my jaw dropped. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you have a oh, you have an old man crane as well. I feel like every city has an old man crane. Not Salma Arch. They have an old man Jasso. <laughs> Not that old. All right, only like three or four years. Anyways, here. Yeah. where do we want to set ourselves up? Yeah, Jasso. Oh yeah. Where do we want to set ourselves up um, to watch out for him? I mean, he said he walks through the city first. He said he walks through the city, and then he goes out into the forest. I asked him, does he go through a certain gate, or does he, like, go a certain way, and he didn't say anything. I mean, he said that the dragon went that way, and I point to the direction that he pointed. That's just, like, towards the forest, I think, right? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that that's the way that he goes. So you said it was like four ish, right? Four or five ish. So like how late is really late for a civilization that doesn't actually need to sleep? Is it like four in the morning? I mean like if there's no need to sleep, there's probably activity at most times. At least yeah. a little bit. That's New York. So you're saying it won't look weird that we are sort of loitering around? I mean, it'd probably look weird for... (laughs) Yeah, there's a difference between loitering and doing stuff. I mean, like, loitering around in a believable... (laughs) Quick, act casual. (laughs) I mean, no matter yeah. what, it's going to look weird for Valkyria and me to be walking around. Yeah, we're all going to be looking weird because we're, you know, not elves. You can just, like, hide your ears, though. You're basically the same. I'm a pretty old elf, apparently. Well, I mean, the, the facial structure is a little... Yeah. Eh. I don't know, you look well, pretty, like... I don't think pretty. elves look uh, this rough, usually. <laughs> or absolutely beat into a bloody pulp constantly 24 7. Well, then, yeah, we've got to find a way to hide the three of us so that we don't look super obvious. I, I do have a disguise kit, but like, I just I don't think that's ever going to come up officially. Like, <laughs> it's just something I've had with my class that my background gave me. So, what you're saying is I can do your makeup? You could certainly try. Cool. I'm gonna try. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> is that like a deception? I'm going Are to, I'm going to wash it off if it doesn't... If no, it I'm it not. Looks... Alright, it is a straight...
Dex or intelligence? Sure. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Dex or intelligence check? Yep. It's no, because applying the... no. It's either applying. knowing how to apply it properly to create an elf or definitely doing it in a way that just ha, stroke. I think you look amazing, Joshua. I look at Coles and I go. <laughs> <laughs> Scale of one to ten, how dumb do I look? Thanks, Cole. Arthur. Inside check. <laughs> do I believe how does he you? Look? Roll away. You liar. Because <laughs> he doesn't look anywhere close to an elf. He just looks like he has some fancy make. A little bit of makeup on him. Your foundation <laughs> is on point, though, man. <laughs> I immediately just go, that's what I thought. And I just like wet a rag and I just start like <laughs> start smearing it all over your face. Yeah, 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 that's better. Oh, I looked dumb before, but. Now, see, least... are you on it? You may have failed to make him look like an elf, but that was just some masterful makeup. I mean, I thought the contouring you... was really good, actually. It was it was pretty good. Really brought out his cheekbones. There's... Honestly, there's no, there's not really any contouring that can cover up the square jaw. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it's also, debatable, not really much you but can I'm do. not a makeup person. Okay. <laughs> it's a good try. So, now what's your plan? Just hide your face. It'll be fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm going to continue to just try to, like, wash it off for, like, the next four hours. <laughs> you guys, I presume, are just going to wait and hide until Caitlin leaves. Like... Uh, just so, that, so you guys know, like, I could always try to follow him out, so that way there's less suspicion raised. Because there are plenty of half-elves around here. I mean, well, there, not plenty, but there are enough half-elves around here that my existence is also believable. And what happens if he attacks you and you're by yourself? And remember... Uh, I can... Oh, sorry. Quick thing. Uh, he's seen you all, so there's not like, I'm gonna blend in. Just well, for me, there is. But not for well, you guys. But for me, I can stealth. Well, yeah, you can so... hide away from him, but all of you guys could hide. Yeah, he's saying you can't just, like, be a half-elf and be, like, totally incognito. Well, I mean, yeah, sure. If you, I mean, if you want to do it, that's. You can try sneaking, and then I can just like, just in case something goes really wrong, make you sure you're these... at least not alone. Do you want these boots? Make you fly. Can't uh, Colf uh... make me invisible? Oh, For, like, right, a... that's a thing you can do. Oh. Oh. Oh, up to an hour. But is there a range? Like, do you have to be within a certain range, or is it just concentration? Well, I'm saying, like, is there a What's range? What's a cast, though? Well, you could send me instead, who is much sneakier than Valkyria naturally anyways. Oh, I've got an idea. I thought we were all trying to follow him. And I'm super good at ideas, guys. Okay, so I'll just be normal me in the city, like in the walls, and I'll wait till I see him because I'm super perceptive and I will definitely see him. And then when I do, I'll cast message to Colt and be like, now, turn him And then you do that and he won't even hit him. No. It'd be great. I, uh, listen, all right. It's not that I don't like your ideas, but it's that I don't like your ideas. 
I don't know you why. They're really good. You didn't sell me on it. Well, I'm ready to hear a better one. How about me and Arthur go tail the guy for a little bit? And then once we figure out where he's going, we fly back. Yeah. I mean, okay. Okay, so everyone's doing what they want. Got it. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, sure. Like at a safe I distance, a tree. far enough away where a rattling tree won't be weird, right? Because, I mean, I don't want to sound, I don't want to sell you, Ayana, but you're not the most stealthy person. Hey, I am when I remember to put up my hood. There's a super cool jacket and just, and then I'm moderately stealthy. It gives you advantage on stealth checks? Yeah, it does. That's... Wow, that's really good. Like, that's bust. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, everybody gets to go. I guess, Valkyria, do you want to go invisible, I guess? And then... It's probably the only way that will work for me. Yeah, all right. I guess that's the plan. Yep. Well, then... Both concentration. Boo. So just jump. I mean... Go ahead and jump. Naruto jump. Naruto ninja style. Then why not just trust How about... us? I carry him. Who said anything about sidelining? We're not. I mean, oh, I'm just make sure fly with you. Make. Can you make all three of us fly? And then we don't have to worry about her being like super clanky yeah, with her. Too. We still kind of you still have to like any flying, movement, you make noise. Any, any oh movement. Like I don't like what go watch somebody running like moving around in chainmail. Even them just moving their arms makes noise. Like any yeah, kind of movement. Not telekinesis is like, just flying, so Yeah. It's you can't not, just like stand there super still and like hover through the air. Well, like that's basically still. Well, like, yeah, but like if if you reach if you, like scratch your nose like move your arm any amount of yeah but that's still that's still a stealth check that's, like but still a disadvantage it's still check. considered movement you'd have to move to move yourself forward you can't just will yourself forward you have to have some movement to yeah forward. it's probably Peter Pan style where it's like you kind of have to. Yeah, you can't just go stiff as a board and just float forward. You can't I wish you could. Wouldn't you that be super cool? You can't just yeah, T-pose like just me. leaned into it. Well, yeah. even <laughs> leaning. Though, that's the thing. Okay, I'll wrap a rope around you and then I'll fly. <laughs> I'll just drag you along the ground. But that still makes noise. Like, <laughs> literally. No, just, no. Anyway, anyway, let's go. Go around it. Just fly up high enough where you don't have to worry about him hearing you. I mean, that's... Yeah. I mean, at that point, though, he's not visible to him, but he's also not visible to us, or, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and Valkyrie goes up there. Track of us in the I trees. can pass message to her. Like, it's fighting time! And then she swoops down, and he doesn't even see it coming. Yeah. Yeah. See? And I tap my head, like, the think gift. I mean, it's like, the problem is, though, is that it still is hard for Valkyria to see in the tree where we are. Even if you, like, get a message in your head, it's like, it's go time, and you dive down, it's like, oh, and you're off target. We can't keep track of each other very easily in the trees. If one's above it and one's below it. Well, we gotta do something. We're running out of daylight here. I, think. I, mean, I have no idea what time like, it is. so much time left. <laughs> it was five o'clock when we started talking. So it's like eight now. I mean, if so the DM rules it like that. Good question. 
We don't have one. <laughs> We're just gonna wing it. It's now I mid- plant a magic bean. Roll a D1. Oh. No, I'm just I'm just joking. I'm totally joking as much as I'd love to. Even Ayana realizes that's, that's a bad idea. It's already, Why? It's already destroyed. destroyed. So you're, why you're you're so you're admitting that the beans are dangerous? No, I'll never admit that. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. A bad idea is not the same thing as dangerous. It doesn't mean dangerous. It just means not the right thing to do right now. Yeah. Well, he said, but no, I'm saying Sawyer just admitted it. That's what I was saying. Okay. Just wanted. I wanted to be on record. (laughs) Yeah, happy to give it. To be fair. That's Never true. denied that it's it. not dangerous. So does that mean you have denied yeah, that I know. it is dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that too, but I wasn't going to say Anyway. It. <laughs> anyway. Rhetoric. Um, right. so, Artemis knows that I'm she's going to at least follow at the, the ground. Trees, trying to follow the ones in the trees. Okay. It's the best we've got. So. so How long does fly last? 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, it's oh, invisible. It doesn't matter. Well, we so, can climb up in the trees normally and then just wait for him to. But then. You are not taking a short rest on a that's, branch. That's an hour. Yeah. Yes. So I think we should just climb up the tree normally. And then when we see him, then you cast fly on us so that we know we got 10 minutes. You have, you have three spell slots. Stop being greedy. Or, or that. Then return on a short rest. You're fine. I mean, I can go to there, but everyone will hear. Just, just climb up the tree. Okay, I'm gonna try to climb up the tree. Okay. Make yeah. Okay, I got this, guys. I'm gonna stretch first. Okay. Hey, I, think I got in the tree. With fairly little issue, you climb the tree. Now in a tree. It's not so bad. Come on, guys. Yeah, I definitely picked one with a big well, branch. You don't have to be in the same tree. Yeah. And uh, can I, I'll I'll take a look at the branch just to make sure that it's sturdy enough for all of us. Like a, a chunky branch. Make a perception check. Oh, gosh. Uh, branch you picked isn't bad. Certainly could hold a few people. Fine. So not, like, super heavy. But, like, a few people in armor? <laughs> I'll drop down a rope uh, for anyone who wants to climb up. Said. Assuming they don't weigh a whole lot. I turn uh. to I turn to Joshua. Let's go find a place to hide, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, does anybody want help getting in the tree? I what did I miss? Too, if someone wants to climb up. Uh, I mean... Okay. Do you want help getting into the tree, Valkyria? N- no. Well, I mean, I could just, like, pick people up and fly them into a tree. If you want to. Um, just, like, sure. Okay. I'll use the boots. I will put my rope away, then. Five minutes of movement to... <laughs> Get them into a tree, nice and snug. Snug as a bug, in a rug. In a rug. Yes. Sleep tight. Kiss you on the forehead. Tuck you in. Fly away. <laughs> wait, wait for me. Guys are in the tree. So everybody who is sneaking and trying to hide, make a stealth check. Where would I go? I'm putting my head up. Wow. If, wait, just them in the city, or like us being sneaky in the tree? You guys in the tree as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Artemis just never. What? What'd you say, JJ? I'm pretty sure you just never existed. <laughs> Did I just roll a 19 and a 17? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Good job, dude. Bravo. Nice. <laughs> so, you guys hide. It was a group, so between all of you guys, except for low number. Uh, and you guys sit there and watch, and at around 
one, two in the morning, roughly. Uh, about six hours after you guys began planning and everything. Uh, there is Galen. This area goes down the trees, down the pulleys, then begins walking into the forest. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna follow after him. I presume everybody's following. You guys... Begin moving, and now that you're moving, you guys need to make an additional one. Hiding in I... place is different. I'm going to wait until Valkyria has flown straight up to, like, move it all. Okay. So wait till she's out of sight. For a second. For a second, I totally forgot. So where wait, does that mean I've got to roll like... first? Yeah, because we're like hugging the branch, like trying to stay out of sight so that there's no movement. Oh my gosh! But if he's looking for movement, he'll see you and not us. Hey. Oh my gosh! I don't even know what's happening. Okay, so I'm going up, and I'm going up like twenty feet above the trees, at least. I'd say 20. Well, let's see. What's a good distance where I can still keep an eye on you guys moving through the trees? I you have think to be 20 at least, feet. At most, 120 feet from me. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, like, I don't know how high it is from the from where we are to the top of the tree line. Uh, assuming you guys are probably about, like, 30 feet up, 20, 30 feet up. Uh, that's a solid, like, extra 100 feet to the tops of the trees. Yeah, these are big trees. Big trees, yeah. Yeah, so trees. hopefully she didn't go too far above the tree line. They're 13-story trees. Yeah. That's big. Okay. I'm gonna cast message. Can you still hear me? So, wait, what? I'm gonna cast message to you. Can you still hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. She can still hear us. We're good. I'm gonna go, so I will have gone, I don't, I think I'll have left the, I mean, would I realistically need to leave the trees to start becoming far enough away to where they, she can't notice me, he can't notice me, whatever this person's gender is? It's a dude, uh, do you have no idea? Huh? You have no idea how good his perception is. Fair enough. I go at least 60 feet higher than the other two. Okay. So, everybody else, make your stealth checks. So scared. Yeah. Because I could... I don't... Man, though, even with a four, jeez. Thank you so much for this jacket. Yeah, show. Sorry, uh, stealth check? Yep. Stealth check. Huh? Oh. Uh. Uh. This is awkward. You guys began. You two on the floor began walking and creeping behind trees and brushes and trying to time your steps with his steps or at least with other noises of the forest to keep yourselves hidden. And people flying, you guys keeping your distance, uh, flying amongst dodging branches. And eventually, uh, Galen stops at a clearing uh, where, to most of you, uh, it's not hard to see that the grass in the middle of this clearing is definitely like rutted up and pressed down, like something has been there. Uh, a, a, either a long time or has stopped there a bunch. Uh, but he arrives and sits there and sits there. I'll cast message to Valkyria um, and be like, he's just sitting there, menacingly. <laughs> Same. 
just going to continue floating near the branches. Okay, what are you doing? Um... Okay, because we're, we're, oh, we're at this clearing forward. or something. Yeah, he's just sitting in this clearing. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I make sure to still position myself at least directly above uh, Kolth and Ayana. And, yeah, I just... Yeah, I mean, I'm still amongst the trees. So, yeah, just make sure that yeah, if we're hanging out long enough, I'm not going to just fall straight down if... Time runs out. Stop and watch. He sits there for about 20 minutes. Uh, so your fly drops. Wait, what? The Is fly drops. Yeah, we ran so out of time. It's been an hour? It's 10 minutes. Oh, gosh. Okay, all right. I'm Kayla getting, speaks I'm out. Because... He speaks out. I guess. Hope you found what you're looking for. Oh, crap. I think he has right here. <laughs> uh... I knew I recognized you, Clan. Welcome home. I did nothing. I lost just as much as you had. I'm the one keeping this place safe. Tell this dragon rider whatever information he wants about the forest. Namely, where other settlements are, best times to attack, best times to hide. He killed my wife. He would have killed everybody here. But at least he only took your mother and sister. They at least have a chance. He doesn't react. He's still not even looking at you. You could be angry with me all you want. But it does nothing to stop the problem. I don't know. I've never seen his face. And he doesn't often speak. The dragon does. I have a guess. His clothes are wet. And I know there's a cave behind a waterfall. About 20, 30 miles southeast. Might be there. And if I don't, 
I've lost everything. I've got nothing left to lose. Kill me now. You won't. Because it does nothing. It doesn't solve problem. I helped keep your home safe. Mine. I'm not proud of what I did. But what would you have done? Neither was I. I was meant to guard this village. Nothing more. That's what I'm doing my job. No, I don't know if I'd... If I knew, I'd have him running this place. Inside check. And in the dark and in your anger and his odd, complicated emotions, he's not, like, super easy to read, but he seems fairly truthful. He doesn't seem to be lying anywhere. I would love it if your father came home and ran this place. It's not fine. I've tried to tell him it's not. Because then it's not my problem anymore. The dragon made a deal. And it's a green dragon. They're pretty good about keeping those. Now I know there's an inevitable betrayal as with any. But that gives me time. What I was hoping was just to have enough time. Prepare. Run away. Hadn't decided yet. You showing up really threw a wrench in my plans and what I might have done. I was trying to prepare the village to defend itself, but prepare enough to where if it goes south... I can get away. Can I start climbing down the tree? Yeah. Climbing down. I'm, I'm gonna just be like on the floor. Like at this point, he knows where everybody is, basically. And then I'm just gonna be kind of just chilling on the ground near a tree, just kind of leaning against it, just hanging out. When are you set to meet with them? Of course, you always. Supposed to be now. But either they had other things to do, or they saw us follow you. Or that. Guys aren't terribly sneaky. 
follow okay. somebody who's already paranoid. I think I won't That's know. Enough to... So you said, um, he's usually behind a waterfall. He said he's wet, so he's assume he's thinking it's behind a waterfall. Good it's guess. Not necessarily. Then let's go. So you can go over there tonight. Wish you luck. Say what? what? Does Kulf know where he's... Uh... Make an intelligence check. Better than me. Now, if you... Like, you've heard of plenty of little caves and things throughout. You've heard of a couple waterfalls, uh, but one that's combined, you have no idea where that's at. You've never been to one. Okay. Everybody else following, I presume? Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. Not just like calls wander off by himself. Especially not in the dangerous... the direction of a dangerous dragon. Or half dragon, or whatever, whatever it may be. You guys begin your trek towards this mysterious cave and waterfall. That's where we're at for tonight. No. Hey. Hey. We get to live in suspense for another week. We get to level up, right? Please, <laughs> please not another one. I'm already too nervous about it. We're level twenty now. How about You're right, we're level 20, case. let's just kill team out right now. Campaign done. Yeah, you yeah, easy. definitely could take TMF. Just, can you take the other things with TMF? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, everyone. At least the second chunk is longer than 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.